If you heard something squeaking tonight inside Brooks Gym, it could have been the ETSU women's basketball team. They had not played a game since last year. Tonight, they were back on the floor, opening SOCON action against Sanford. The Bucks running out of the locker room, getting ready for a shorthanded game. Both Kendall Foley and Jalea Cotton are out. That's uh, ETSU starting in backup point guards. You can see Foley in a boot as they both sit on the bench, but the show must go on. Nave Brown handling the rock, gets in the paint, pump fake into the scoop shot for the first basket. She had eight points tonight. Here's one of them as she finds Megan Downing. She finished with 10 assists. Downing scores. Bucks big lead 20 to 11 after the first quarter. Bucks Courtney Moore. With it now, the ref trying to seal her shine, but she knocks down the pull-up jumper. Moore led the team with 17. Everyone is getting in on the act for ETSU. Journey McDaniel has been sick. She got a huge block on the defensive end. On the other end, Brown makes the shot. And then there towards the end, how about the freshman, Brecken Snodderly? Knocks down the three-point shot as well. Jakiah Davis down low, good control footwork. She scores. She left both the teams with rebounds of 14. The Bucks with a 20-point lead. ETSU went on to win big without their two point guards. That final tonight, 57 of 40. We've been preparing for this, uh, staying confident in one another, just stepping up in the roles, uh, knowing that you'll have to do that at some point throughout the season. You're always going to face adversity. And I think we stepped up confidently and we trusted each other and we were able to do what we did tonight. I was excited, but I also just wanted to play hard and whatever happened, happened. I just wanted to give a 100% effort and um, make missed shots <clears throat> and just play good defense, which is um, one of our keys here. We'll get those kids back um, eventually. You know, they're day to day right now, so we'll get them back. But right now, we got to try to fill in the gaps, continue to play defense, um, and continue to try to get better. Box back on the course Saturday at 2 o'clock against Mercer inside Brooks Gym.